How many of you were in Miss V's class last year? You used the data loggers? With the SCAPE grant, we'll have access to be able to measure some of the characteristics of water. So what are some of the kinds of things that you would measure in water? Dissolved oxygen, pH, carbon dioxide, alkalinity. Good, temperature, yeah, exactly. Next time we go out to the creek, there should be macroinvertebrates. Even now from the water that we've brought back, you'll see there are other things starting to live in here. Three of the fish that are in here live in Ash Creek, the ones that are minnow shaped. And those can live in water that's up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The fish need oxygen, right? So are they getting their oxygen from the H2O? Respiring or? No. Plants and light. Photosynthesis. Okay, so photosynthesizing, where else? The water falling in. The water falling in. Okay. You're used to things like sugar dissolving into a liquid, but gases dissolve into liquids also. So oxygen, <coughs> carbon dioxide. We talked about the impact of increased carbon dioxide on the oceans, changing the, the pH or the acidity. Good. All right, so let's, let's see what you guys get here. So when we go out, we'll have four handheld units and we'll have different probes. So we can take measurements in different areas. So it's taking three sets of data. Why don't you read out what it, what it is right now? pH is 8.7, temperature 20 uh, degrees Celsius, dissolved oxygen 7.2 milligrams a liter. So this is 7.2 milligrams of oxygen per liter of water. So right now, it's good enough for these things to live. What, what, can, what can cause the oxygen level to go down? Circulation of the water. Something. Things dying. Things dying. Why? Why do things die? Does the oxygen level go down? Decomposers, right? So the decomposers take oxygen to, to run their chemistry, right? So that's, that's called biological oxygen demand. What else can take the oxygen level down? Yeah, other living things. We said that algae will produce oxygen if there's light. What happens at night when there's no light for the plants? They can't photosynthesize. They can't photosynthesize. What would you think would happen to the oxygen level? Go down. So we can test those. We also, um, we have a chamber that we can put atmospheric oxygen and atmospheric carbon dioxide probes in, and we could put water in there and shine a light on algae and be able to see what happens to the atmosphere above the water as, a, as an indicator. So any changes there? 8.76. Up here on the board, and, and this, is, this is interesting to me because it's in conflict with what I thought would happen, but that's the way it's working out. The dissolved oxygen, the first tank one up there, I had unplugged this for about an hour, and my hypothesis was that in that amount of time, the dissolved oxygen level would drop. So that first reading in tank one was 7.09 milligrams per liter, and now after this has been running for a while, it's 7.03 milligrams per liter. That's not what I expected. So if you look over here, the water is tumbling into the water, and you can see it's carrying bubbles in, and my hypothesis was that the dissolved oxygen level would go up. So it may have been the time frame that we used, or there may be another explanation. So where are we, where are we on this map? Okay. And so when you when you take a look at this, and these are this is showing different elevations on up to San Francisco Peak, Lee's Ferries. Yeah. Right? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Where's Lee's Ferry? That's on the Colorado River. So this is one way. What what's this? A little bit of Mexico and Salvador. Well what is what is the key? Sorry. Okay, find us. Find us. Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. But what's this a map of? Elevation. Nope. 
by out of communities. So there are lots of ways that you can talk about place. Here's your homework assignment. Out of the things that we describe, what are you most interested in researching about this place? Do one paragraph of find something out about the history or the geology or the settlements or the pioneers or the community.